Hello all, welcome to part one of Apache Pi API training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate what exactly is an Apache Pi API. So let's get started. So Apache Pi is nothing but an API, as already mentioned in the title of this uh, session. Apache Pi is an API. You can also call it as a library, guys. Okay, either API, which is Indirectly, nothing but a library, a set of uh, interfaces, classes, predefined methods, variables, etc., will consist of a library. Okay, they are grouped into packages. Packages are grouped into something known as jar files, etc. Okay, those are nothing but libraries or APIs. We generally call Java is a library. Okay, Selenium is a library. Testng is a library. Similarly, Apache Pi is a another third-party library. Okay, so what is the purpose of this library? Every library has a purpose. So what is the purpose of this Apache Poi API library? The purpose is to read, write, modify or update Microsoft files like Excel file, PowerPoint files, and Word, Word document files. You see Microsoft, I think everyone has, uh, everyone knows that uh, they can install uh, in Windows machine or in any other operating system, they can install Microsoft Office, that is MS Office, okay? Like MS Office, Word, MS Office Excel, MS Office PowerPoint, and so on, right? So this Apache Poi API is actually developed by some third-party developers to read, to automate the process of reading, writing, and updating. If you want, you can create also, create these files, delete these files, reading these files, uh, writing these files, modifying these files, anything can be possible with the help of the different uh, things that are provided as part of this Apache Poi API using the interfaces, classes, and whatever that is there in the Apache Poi API library. Using them, we can work with this Microsoft documents like reading, writing, creating, updating, deleting, coloring, etc. cetera, word formatting, whatever. Uh, it's a very huge list case. I cannot uh, uh, conclude in a single two to three lines like what exactly is Apache Poi API, okay? At a high level, we generally, okay? At a high level, this is the thing, guys, but in generally, why we use Apache Poi API as software testers, okay? If you speak, why we have to use Apache Poi API? We use this Apache Poi API in our test automation. If you go for Selenium automation or any other automation, which requires us to read the data from the Excel files or, or do some operations on the Excel files, mainly reading, guys, okay? Reading is the main thing. If you want to read the data from an Excel file, okay? You see, what, what, what is the use of the Excel file? We can read the data from the database. We can read the data from the Excel file. We can read the document from different files. What is uh, that, that thing that is special with Excel files? You can organize the data well, right? In the form of tables, you can organize um, Excel. Uh, if you remember an Excel document, you can open the Excel document. You can create multiple sheets. In sheets, you can create different data, okay? It has its own properties, right? Excel has uh, one of the way of uh, storing the data is Excel files. Okay? A lot of people... You see, use Excel as their means of storing the data. A lot of data related to particular application is there that can be stored into a, not only database, but also can, can be stored into an Excel file, okay? So, but the purpose of the OI API is I already mentioned, but why do we use in our uh, test automation? How software testers use this particular thing in their test automation to, to uh, perform operations to automate the performing of the operations on these Excel files. We don't actually need it for PowerPoint or Word document, okay? We use Apache Poi API in our test automation to handle the Excel files, to perform operations on the Excel files we use in our test automation, guys. It can be any automation, any test automation. It can be UI automation or API automation or mobile automation, whatever it is, okay? With that Selenium or with that APM or with that rest assured, we can use Apache Poi API library to handle the Excel files. And main thing that we generally use as automation, okay? Though we can do different type of operations on the Excel files, the main thing in automation that we do is read the data from the Excel files is the main one, guys, okay? A lot of other operations are there, creating the Excel file, deleting the Excel file, uh, creating sheets, deleting the sheets, creating rows, deleting the rows, many things are there. but Main purpose why we use this PoIAP in our test automation is to read the data, read the test data from the Excel files is the main purpose. But depending on the different, pro different projects and needs, it can be used behind reading the data from the, reading the test data from the Excel files, okay? It's not just limited to reading of the files. It has a lot of 
capabilities okay which are behind our imaginations at this moment okay so if you if you can spend a lot of time right uh, you can still spend time you see it's kind of like a ocean or something a uh, lot of things keep on coming up and you have to learn by api like anything but we don't have to do that as software testers or automation engineers whatever that we need from power api we have to learn we don't have to learn the entire power api okay in depth so some knowledge of power api is enough but uh, don't go behind that okay so whatever i am going to cover as part of this series uh, that is enough guys that is enough uh, to understand what exactly is apache power api and how we can use in our test automation for handling the or operating the or performing different operations on the excel files so hope guys you understood what exactly is apache poi api apache is a company or organization which is uh, whose developers are actually building this poi api or library which can be used for operating or performing different automating the performing of different operations on the excel files mainly excel files we use for automation other other documents are also there but uh, we have to focus more on the excel files as i mentioned in the session so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to cover another topic on apache poi api till then see you Bye-bye.